Uh, welcome to Center of Maths, our uh, basic series of real analysis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sequences of functions. So, so uh, given some sequence of functions of f of n going from e to e prime, we say the sequence. Uh, this sequence of functions, f1, f2, et cetera, converges at some point p in E. Uh, if the sequence of points, f of 1 of p, f of 2 of p, et cetera, converges. We say f of 1, f of 2, uh, et cetera, is convergent if it converges at each point in E. And we say, and if we define a function, f of p equals uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of f of n of p, so assuming the thing on the right converges, then we say f of 1, f2, et cetera, converges to some function f. So we say the sequence of functions is uniformly convergent uh, to some function f if it converges and given any uh, e greater than zero we can find some positive integer n, such that for little n greater than big n, uh, we have the distance uh, between f of p and f of f n of p is going to be less than that epsilon uh, for all n greater than big n, and all p in our metric space uh, e. Uh, so this is basically saying these, this uh, sequence of functions gets as close as we want at every point. So there's no point that is always some distance away. It gets arbitrarily close to the function uniformly across the metric space. So uh, something neat we can prove about uniformly uh, convergent sequence of functions is if we have a universal, uniformly convergent sequence of continuous functions converging to their limit f, then f is also a continuous function. Uh, so this is essentially going to be proved by uh, the, taking the distance between f of p and f of p naught and e prime and using the triangle inequality to break this up into three parts. So distance between f of p and f n of p plus uh, fn of p and fn of p naught, and then fn of p naught and uh, f of p naught. And so uh, the middle one, uh, we can make as small as we want by taking p close to enough to p naught, because f of n is continuous. f of p and f of n of p and f n of p naught and f of p naught, we can make as small as we want, because f of n is a uniformly converging sequence of functions. So this can also get as small as we want. So specifically, we pick, uh, yeah, we pick p such that uh, p is close enough to p naught. P is p distance p p naught is less than delta. So distance from f n of p and f n of p naught is going to be less than uh, any given epsilon over three. And we're going to pick n greater than big n. So the distance between f of p and f n of p and f of p and f of f n of p naught is going to be less than e over three. Uh, epsilon over three. And so plugging in epsilon, epsilon over 3 uh, for each of these, or saying this sum is less than epsilon over 3 times 3, which is just epsilon, we get for p close enough to p naught, distance between f of p and f of p naught is less than epsilon. And so f is continuous at arbitrary p and e, and so f is a continuous function. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you like this video, please check out our other uh, real analysis videos in our playlist. Thank you.